Daddy, Daddy Show. Are you ready for the 12 days of Christmas painting challenge? Come with me and let's count down together. Hello. We have finally made it to the last day of our 12 days of Christmas painting challenge. And today is a special day. Today is Christmas and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful time with friends and family and that you are celebrating the true reason of the season, which is Jesus' birthday. And today's painting is inspired by that, by the stable where Jesus was born. We're going to be painting a silhouette of it. Are you ready for this? All right, let's get started. I have my materials here. I only need blue and yellow paint today. I won't need red and then black and white, paper or canvas, two brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, pencil, paper towel, and a cup with water. All right, let's get to drawing. First, I want you to put your hand on one side of the paper, about four fingers width or, or three, I would say like four, depending on the size of your hand and then just make a little line right there. Do the same on the opposite side, on the end of it, and then you make a little line. So now, just make two horizontal, vertical, sorry, vertical lines right there, just about in the center. Now we're gonna go from one corner, okay, one corner to another, making a half circle. And now you can connect and place these vertical lines right on top. There you go. Now what I want you to do is put a little dot right, find, try, try to find the center and then go all the way up and then put a little dot right there. Okay, and then from there you're going to connect it to the vertical lines and this will be the roof of the stable. Good. Now we're going to create the manger where the baby was placed. I want you to, right in the middle here in the bottom, create like a rectangle. Make a rectangle. And then what I want you to do, instead of making a straight line, make it a little bit angular more like angling it in, just like that. Okay, so my rectangle now became a little more angled, so it's not perfect, perfect angle on the sides. Okay, now I'll create a two little, two re vertical rectangles right here for the feet. It's gonna look like a crib, right? And now from here, I want you to make a half circle right in the middle. And then another half circle, smaller one. So that's the baby right there. Good. Now what we'll do is we're gonna make, we're going to, to draw Mary and Joseph and doesn't have to be too difficult. Uh, let's simplify by using the shapes that we already know. And what we'll do is we're going to make a triangle. Yeah, just a simple triangle. And then we'll make another triangle, but a taller one on the opposite side. Just about that. So two triangles. I'll make it a little bit thicker. Get it too thin. Okay. Now let's make a circle right on top of the triangle, but not really in the middle of it, kind of to the side, tilted to the side as if it's falling off the triangle. And do the same for this one. 
So it's falling off the triangle, just like that. All right, we can see now the body. So what we'll do now is use our creativity and just kind of shape it as if in the shape of a person. So we're gonna give it some, marry some hair here. And then I'm gonna give her a little more curve to her body. Just about that. And then for Joseph, I'll also, um, I'll make a, uh, a little bit here of a hair because you know, back in the days they wore the, the cloth over their heads. And then I'll make his neck a little bit thicker. See, I gave the body a little more shape instead of just looking like a triangle. But I started with a triangle. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll add a little a walking staff for Joseph. So make a, a line, just like a, a, a line at an angle, and then curve it. So this is his walking staff, okay? And then I'll make a, a hand, a little bit of his hand coming out. We don't have to do the whole staff, but if we were to imagine, the staff would be on right over here, okay? But we don't have to do that, it won't show. Okay, I think we have, we have the drawing pretty much there. We can see already the scene. It's the nativity scene. Let's get to painting. I'm gonna get my biggest brush and start with the white. Start right in the middle with the white. You may think, oh, but I'm gonna cover everything I drew. You'll still be able to see most of it. Just start going in a circle like that. You'll be able to see your drawing. Add a little bit of water. So to make the, the paint more transparent. Keep going. Add paint, white and water and make a circle right over it. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a light blue color. So I got some white and blue and right outside we'll outline that circle just like that. Add a little bit of wa water. The water will make the brush flow a little better. And right where it meets the, the white, try to blend it a little bit so that way the transition is nice and subtle. Be careful not to go inside with that blue. You wanna leave it white. So you may get some more white paint you have to blend both colors in just like that and let's keep going out it's important to work fast so that way the, the paint is still wet and ready to to blend now I'm gonna get darker so I'll get some more blue just a little bit of white and then I'll keep moving around in a circular motion, you want to have the shape of a circle. Just like that. So we went from white to light blue to regular blue and then we're gonna go to even darker blue and then I'll go all the way to the edge of the paper continue to circle your stroke make it round 
just like that. I'll do the same on the other side. Yeah. Do you see it? Do you see how the light is shining? Okay. Now we'll do the same for, now for the bottom, we won't do the same. I'm sorry, we were just going to paint it blue with a little bit of black to look like a dark blue. And then we'll just, we're just going to color the whole thing the same color. Go from one corner to another and make a circle, a half circle. So this is blue and black. Tiny bit of black and blue. There you go. You got it? I hope so. We're going to change our brush and go you get the small brush now because this is going to be more of the silhouette. It's more detailed. So we want to be able to have control over our brush. Grab that brush, wet it a little bit and dab it in the black paint. I want to make sure that the black paint is nice and wet, not too wet, but also not too dry because you want your brush to flow. So start with the stable, the little house here. It's going to have the shape of a house, two walls and a roof. So you can make the vertical lines first. If your brush is dry, reload, add more black. And then remember that center, that little dot, find the center, add a dot right on top, and then bring it down. You can bring it out some. Just like that. Good. Stable is done. Let's paint G the, the, the manger. So what I want you to do is add a little bit of more water to your black and then outline first. Try to outline so you can get the best clean shape you can get. And then whatever is not painted in the middle, you just fill it in. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same for the legs. And half circle. Do the half circle, don't do it on the top of the whole thing, just in the middle of it. A little half circle. And then another little half circle. Just like that. Good. All right. Next, what we'll do is let's start with Mary. And remember the triangle? The triangle's still there. We just add a little more curve, curvature around it. So just 
try to remember what that triangle was. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Add some curves to her body. Like that. See? Still a triangle. And then the circle. The circle is a little bit tilted because it's looking at the baby. And then I'm going to add hair. I'm going to add a little bigger back for her. Try to make it look like the silhouette of a person. Got it? Okay, let's do Joseph here now. The same thing, it's a triangle, so find that triangle. And the circle. Just like that. And then I have the hand, there's the little hand. Now for the staff, I'm gonna make sure that I have plenty of water in my brush. I'm gonna try to make it as thin as I can. Or, better yet, what I'll do is I'll change my brush. I'm gonna get something skinnier. Skinnier brush. Here, I have another round brush that's even, even skinnier. Could have tried with that one, but I want to try to make this nice and detailed. Just like that. Okay. Just kind of go around, see if you want to add anything else. All right, so now for the final detail, we have our silhouettes, right? Now the final detail will be the star a very important nativity star. And make sure that the black over here on the roof is dry. You don't want it to be wet. So that's why I was kind of touching it. It's nice and dry. I'll start with some white and a little bit of yellow. Mix it together. Mix those two colors together. And right in the middle, make a vertical line right in the middle. Then, a little bit above, make a horizontal line. Then make an X. Two diagonal lines. Just like that. And then what we'll do is 
with that same brush get just some pure white and give it a little highlight for an extra light brightness just like that and then I'll add a dab of white a white dot right in the middle just like that all right here it is the nativity scene beautiful and very simple to make if you just break it down you're going to make it really nice and make it your own I hope you enjoyed this wonderful time we spent together painting all these 12 days of Christmas painting challenge. I had a blast and I hope you learned a lot from it and got your practice with painting so we can start the new year with more practice and inspiration for us to have a wonderful time in making the next year better than the year before. Enjoy your time with friends and family on Christmas Day and I'll hope to see you again next time for our next challenge or our next adventure. Make sure to subscribe, like and share with other people the Spotty Dotty Show channel. Thanks for painting with me. Bye bye. Every day brings us closer to Christmas Day and makes us better artists. I would love to see what you painted, so post it on my Facebook page at Spotty Dotty Show so I can see it and you can get a chance to win prizes. See you again tomorrow for another painting challenge.